Hello, um, my name is Muthu Varganathan from the Brigham Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. So Find Heart was a pooled analysis of three large-scale trials, Fidelio DKD, Figaro DKD, and the Fine Arts Heart Failure Trial. These were the three pivotal phase three trials of the non-steroidal mineral corticoid receptor antagonist, finerenone. So this provides a definitive look at the totality of evidence of finerenone across the cardio kidney metabolic spectrum. So we really attempted to examine patients with cardio kidney metabolic syndrome, those sitting at the intersections of these disease states so in pooling these three randomized clinical trials, we evaluated over 18,000 participants with either type 2 diabetes and chronic kidney disease, as was represented in the chronic kidney disease trials, or patients with heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction. Prior to the unblinding of the fine arts heart failure trial, we pre-specified this pooled analysis and harmonized data elements across the three randomized clinical trials. We assessed the primary endpoint of cardiovascular death and a range of secondary outcomes, including all-cause mortality, heart failure hospitalization, and a kidney composite endpoint signaling kidney disease progression. The primary endpoint was reduced to a borderline extent by 11%. This result was sensitive to the definition of cardiovascular death when we included undetermined debts or debts that could not be otherwise adjudicated by the clinical endpoints committee, that result became more robust and statistically significant. All secondary endpoints were significantly reduced with the use of finerenone, including all-cause mortality with a 12% reduction. Furthermore, there was demonstrable reductions in heart failure hospitalizations a robust reduction in a kidney composite endpoint by 20%, reductions in other cardiovascular events such as new onset atrial fibrillation or major adverse cardiovascular events. No, overall, the safety profile of this therapy was in keeping with the individual trials. There was an expected increase in serum potassium levels with protection against low potassium levels or hypokalemia. There was no difference in rates of acute kidney injury, no deaths related to hyperkalemia, and overall, serious adverse events were actually lower in the finerone arm compared to the placebo arm. So pooling these data didn't reveal any untoward effects that we didn't, weren't aware of in the preceding trials. Finerone is currently labeled in many countries for the use in type 2 diabetes and chronic kidney disease. And based on the fine arts heart failure trial, those guideline bodies and regulatory agencies will consider the evidence base from fine arts heart failure for the indication of heart failure with mildly reduced preserved EF. These data really do help support their use more globally across the spectrum of cardio kidney metabolism within those indications. The non-steroidal MRA finerenone is a new therapeutic pillar in the management of cardio kidney metabolism and joins alongside other effective options such as the SGLT2 inhibitors and the GLP-1 receptor agonists in this patient population. I think next we as a community will face the important task of implementation and finerenone, as with other components of medical therapies that have been shown to be effective in these patient populations, face great hurdles in implementation. And so as a community, we need to coordinate care, especially across specialties, to improve and streamline the implementation approaches to this therapeutic option.